Portugal is a very popular place in which to buy property and one can understand why it is a very very beautiful country however prices have been going up a fair bit over the last few years and many places have become unaffordable in particular for locals today i want to give you my five best places in which to buy real estate in portugal and unfortunately lisbon does not make the cut because prices on average are well over five thousand euros per square meter and in popular areas like Baxa, they're over seven thousand euros per square meter but certain areas of the algarve have also become very very expensive for example lagos we are talking over three and a half thousand euros per square meter and also Cascais Estoril where it's now common to find property well over six thousand euros per square meter and Sintra as well which is more affordable is still on the pricey side downtown areas you're looking at four thousand two hundred euros per square meter so here are my top five places in which to buy real estate in the beautiful country of Portugal and coming in at number five is the beautiful city of Porto. Now Porto has excellent infrastructure with an airport that flies to destinations all over Europe plus Sao Paulo and Rio in Brazil. It actually also flies to New York, Toronto and Montreal in North America but what I find most impressive about Porto is that it has six metro lines which is indeed mightily impressive for a mid-sized city. You also have a number of R&D and technology institutions, ultra-fast broadband and plenty of free Wi-Fi spots within the city. Porto has a highly skilled workforce with excellent linguistic skills. It's actually not uncommon here for people to speak three or more languages. Now the city also has a very low crime rate but unfortunately though gone are the days where you can find property at a bargain on average now we are looking at around 3000 uh, plus euros per square meter so above the 3000 euros level however there are areas for example like Nova de Gaia and Campania where you can find property on average at less than two and a half thousand euros per square meter so whilst Porto is no longer a bargain it once was it still offers much better value than Lisbon and what I like as well about Porto you can go to the beach as well so you could buy a property and go to the beach in the summer now coming in at number four is the city of Coimbra now the beautiful medieval city of Coimbra is in fourth place with a population of around 143,000. It is actually located in the middle of Portugal and is known for its university, one of the oldest in Portugal and indeed one of the oldest in Europe. It is indeed a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now Coimbra is very accessible with high-speed trains to both Porto and Lisbon. Now, what I think is great about Coimbra is that you can still find city center apartments for about 2,000 euros per square meter. And this is in the main due to the fact that there are fewer foreign buyers here. And on average in Coimbra, expect to pay less than 2,000 euros per square meter for a property. And if you go outside Coimbra, just outside Coimbra, you can find some lovely houses for under 200,000 euros. And if you like a lower cost of living with a slower pace, but also sometimes with youthful energy that comes with a big student population, then Coimbra might just be the place for you. However, if you want big city living, with lots of facilities and an amazing nightlife. Although Coimbra's nightlife is good, but it's not as good as Lisbon or Porto. 
Now, coming in at number three is the city of Braga, with a population of 193,000, and in the northeast of Portugal, Braga, for me, is possibly the most underrated city in Portugal. It has many beautiful churches, museums, and ancient buildings from different eras. Braga is actually only an hour away from Porto, but what is important here is that the golden visa is still valid if you want to buy residential property, whereas this is not the case in cities like Porto and Lisbon. I did make a video about this a few months ago. What is also great is that crime is also virtually unheard of here. And Braga, very important, has also very good demographics with high population density, a growing population, and perhaps most important of all, a youthful population. Now, Braga is also known as one of Portugal's best university cities. We are also seeing more and more expats coming to live here, and with good reason. Now, although, as with many places in Portugal, prices are rising sharply, Braga is still cheaper than Coimbra and much cheaper than Porto, and of course, a hell of a lot cheaper than Lisbon. We are talking, on average, well under 2,000 euros per square meter. However, unfortunately, gone are the days of getting property for well under one and a half thousand euros per square meter in the city center. Now, I think the only downside of Braga is that obviously it's not as big as Porto and Lisbon, so you're not going to find the same facilities. But this city could work for many people. Now, coming in at number two are the Azores. The Azores, which consist of nine major islands in three different groups, are dominated by São Miguel. São Miguel is definitely here the biggest island with, with 140,000 people out of 240,000 which live in the Azores. So if you're going to buy property, I think the island of São Miguel will probably be the best choice. And prices are very, very, very cheap at less than one and a half thousand euros per square meter on average. And even in Ponta Delgada, the capital of the Azores on the São Miguel Island, you can find good property at around one and a half thousand euros per square meter. But prices are not the only advantage of buying property here. The golden visa for buying residential property is still valid here. And the Azores has a very good business environment with VAT and corporate tax being significantly lower than mainland Portugal. Now, the Azores are just about the safest place you can live. Crime here is virtually unheard of. And connections are actually not too bad either. From Ponta Delgado, you can fly to a number of major cities, including London, Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Geneva, New York, Boston, Toronto, and Tel Aviv, and in Spain as well, Madrid and Barcelona. And there are, though, unfortunately, some disadvantages, in as much as the climate is not as nice as other parts of Portugal. It does actually rain quite a lot here. And also, a number of the flights are only seasonal. The Azores is suffering, too, from declining population, salaries are quite low, and many people still consider the Azores just a little bit too remote for their liking. Now, coming in at number one, and definitely my favorite place, is Madeira. Now, with a population of around a quarter of a million, Madeira, an autonomous region of Portugal, has so much to offer. The climate here is almost perfect, with virtually 12 months of the year of good weather. There are beautiful landscapes here, tasty food and wine, some um, flowers. Madeira is known for its wonderful flowers 
a lot of activities. You can take part in things such as hiking, diving and fishing. Furthermore, the cost of living here is low, as is the crime rate. And Madeira has an excellent healthcare system and some very good schools as well. And I want to talk about some further advantages, and these include good infrastructure with excellent modern road networks and fantastic internet speeds, a highly skilled population, many of whom speak several languages. The golden visa is still valid here when it comes to buying residential real estate. And Madeira has special tax advantages when compared to the mainland of Portugal. Now, Madeira is also fast becoming a mecca for digital nomads. Indeed, the first digital nomad village was opened on the island of Madeira. Now, we have to say, unfortunately, prices have been on the rise and we can understand why, in particular over the last year or so. So on average, prices on the island of Madeira are around 2,000 to 2,400 euros per square meter. And in Funchal now, we are talking on average around 2,600 to 2,700 euros per square meter. So it's not quite the amazing bargain it once was. But I still think if you buy on the island of Madeira long term, you're going to do quite well here. And indeed, if you're just buying for a lifestyle as well, there aren't that many places which are as nice as Madeira, even for a lifestyle purchase. So for all these reasons, Madeira is in first place. However, before I conclude today's videos, please, I would love to know your thoughts. Are there any places that you think I have missed or any places which I have discarded, which you think should be in the top five? Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching this video and I shall see you soon on the next.